vast majority of hydropneumatic accumulator applications, nitrogen gas is used as a precharge. But what is the reason that nitrogen is used? The answer is because it is clearly stated in the safety instructions that if nitrogen is not used, there is a risk of explosion. However, let's look a little bit more closely at the inner workings of a hydropneumatic accumulator to understand this. In a hydropneumatic accumulator, there are two fluids used, a gas and a hydraulic fluid. First, we'll take a closer look at the gas. When the gas pressure increases, the gas temperature increases, and vice versa when the gas pressure decreases. The pressure inside an accumulator can increase and decrease rapidly over a short period of time throughout normal accumulator operation. Therefore, gas is rapidly cooling and heating. This can potentially be a change of 100 or more degrees Celsius in a few seconds. Keeping this in mind, we will look at the fluid. Typically, hydraulic fluid is mineral-based oil. This is derived from crude oil, which is where products such as petrol and diesel are also derived. Therefore, we can see some similar properties in hydraulic mineral oil, especially flash point and auto ignition points. Generally, the auto ignition point is 500 degrees Celsius or higher for hydraulic oils. However, due to extreme pressures that can be present throughout accumulator operation, the auto ignition temperature drops significantly. Combine this with the potential atomizing of hydraulic mineral oil, the high temperatures created by gas compression, and there is an inherent risk of spontaneous combustion which can lead to explosion. However, in order for combustion to occur, three things are needed. Heat, fuel and oxygen. This is where nitrogen is used. Without oxygen being available, there can be no spontaneous combustion. Nitrogen must always be used when assembling, disassembling or filling the accumulator for storage or transport. However, there are two exceptions to this rule. Inert gases such as helium or argon may be used, but the accumulator manufacturer must be consulted. Nitrogen is favoured over the other inert gases due to its low cost and abundance in nature. The second exception is that compressed air may only be used when the hydraulic fluid is not combustible, such as water or water-based fluids, as this removes the fuel aspect from the fire triangle. However, incorrect application, training or lack of understanding when using compressed air with accumulators may lead to explosion and severe injury. If ever in doubt, use nitrogen gas or consult the accumulator manufacturer.